Do I, can I actually see the clock as well? <laughs> okay, awesome. Hi, everyone. My name is Juliette Reinders Former, and I'm going to talk about dependencies for plugins and teams. How many of you are end users of WordPress? Have an own blog or website built with WordPress? Nearly everyone. How many of you build teams? Good fair few. What about plugins? Also good fair few. Well, anyone who's developed for WordPress might have come across the, you know, hang on, I've built an add-on for something else. Now, how do I make sure that the actual something else is installed? You know the feeling? And what about how the end user feels? Have you ever thought of that? An end user goes and looks in the repository and goes, hang on, that's an interesting plugin. Let me install it. And they install it. And they go, it doesn't work. Well, most end users at that point quit. They just uninstall, remove the plugin. Some might think, hang on, didn't it give an admin notice and say you need something else? Go back to the repository, search for something else, install something else. Altogether, it's a very frustrating experience. So I think we should solve this. And what sort of dependencies am I talking about? Dependencies between plugins and teams. This might be a child team which has a parent team. But this might also be a, a, a plugin like a BBPress add-on, which needs BBPress to function. Or a bridge plugin, which needs Yoast SEO and ACF to function. And there's thousands of examples where this already happens. These add-ons are there. They exist. Ignoring them, I think, is a bit silly, because we're ignoring a reality. And I know it's not an easy problem to solve. There's quite a lot of complicated factors there. But the fact that it's difficult, does that mean that we shouldn't attempt it? Are we so complacent that we only want to solve the things which are easy? Or should we at least try and make that part of WordPress more user-friendly as well? I envision that if we solve this, we will create a new spring for development of the WordPress infrastructure around WordPress, so teams and plugins. Basically, something like the REST API, which has now gone into core, when that was being developed, for add-on plugins which needed the REST API to be there, it was really difficult to say, hang on, but we need REST API, so you need to install the other plugin before this plugin can work. I envision that if we solve plugin dependencies, that those kind of situations will be easier and that it will actually accelerate creation of new features with new possibilities for something like the REST API, even before it was merged. Sounds good? Yep. OK, now some of the problems we run into when you want to solve it is, first of all, to make it the most user-friendly, we need to have information available about dependencies before a plugin or a team is active. How do we do that? Do we add an extra line in the header? But hang on, I mean, if we want a little bit more configurability than just a name of a plugin, that's not enough. We might want to add a minimum version. How do we do that? So we need to think about how to make that information available. Can we adjust the WordPress API to provide that information? What about dependencies of dependencies? So that's an issue we need to solve. Another issue is figuring out whether something is active. If something is installed, it might have been renamed, the folder might have been renamed by a user. So we, don't, we can't reliably use a slug to determine whether a plugin is active. It might also be installed as a library shipped with another plugin. Again, we cannot use is plugin active to determine whether something is active. And what about must-use plugins? No concept of activation. So interesting uh, puzzle to solve that as well. And then the next thing 
Um, let me find my train of thought. Let me quickly grab a drink. Mm. The next thing is that we actually need to make sure that the user interface is user-friendly. How can we make the user experience for this as friendly as possible? Should we make it invisible to the user? Should we make it visible so they have the responsibility, they know what's going on, but easy? Where do we draw the line? And the short of it is, we need your input for that. There are a couple of projects which have attempted to solve this puzzle. Well, any developer knows about Composer, but Composer isn't really suited for WordPress. Another project which has tried to solve it, and full disclosure, I've been involved with that one, is the Plugin Dependencies plugin. But for that plugin to work and, and to give information about plugin dependencies, it needs to be active itself. So that doesn't really work at this moment. The next one is TGM plugin activation. Again, full disclosure, I'm involved with that project as well. Um, TGM currently is used by an enormous amount of teams and plugins already. And one of the problems you run into at that point is that you get conflicts between different versions, included with Teams and with uh, other plugins. But what th that solves is the installation and the update process for plugins and Teams, which are required and dependent on. So there are a number of uh, uh, projects out there, and none of them solve it completely. So what I propose is that we mix and match, pick the best bits out of each of these, and make a hybrid which might be suitable for core. Who's with me? Anyone want to join me in this project? Tomorrow I'm going to be at the Contributors Day, and I very much invite you to join me there. I'd love to discuss what I envision, how we can do this together with you, get inspired by your ideas, and maybe work on this together with you to make this happen. Thank you.